But Speedy Gonzalez, nobody's taking care of him. You gotta love 3v3s three so when you like those fiesta moments. There comes the ball roll. What is up, guys? And welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel. My name is Shanks. And today, we are on the map Lebanon in a 3 versus 3 matchup. So 1v1s and 2v2s might have their similarities, but trust me on that one, 3v3 is a whole different world. We have Mordor, Isengard, and Gondor versus Gondor, Rohan, and Isengard. So usually the team with the Mordor ally is pretty much like cheating, you know? That's how strong Mordor is in those team games because amount this amount of crazy leadership it can provide with the Eye of Sauron, Drummer Troll, Witch King, and also Darkness. You can make your allies, even orcs, you can make super strong, you know what I mean? So Warchan has been used on this Uruks. We have peasants coming from this location and they're also creeping this area. In the meantime, this Gondor was also using the soldiers to creep this lair, okay? Three blacksmiths opening. So I'm curious if he's gonna go for the heroes or for the units, such as Gondor Knights. But usually, in this situation, Rohan should be going for the horses because you have so much support for the horses with Theodin and Eoma. You can also level them up quite easily. There are a bunch of creeps on this map and you can get your Theodin to level 4 before even having to fight the enemy, op you, you know, units. So level 2 orcs, level 2 orcs, the black orcs, they also deal 15% more damage. So they can, a level 2 orc can easily 1v1 a level 2 peasant or a level 2 soldier. That's how strong they are. So they will be creeping this. Good bait here with them. But that's an army in a house. What is this army of peasants, dude? <laughs> okay, but I think they can still get the creep. That is the Alvin loot from Gondor. But Mordor was still able to get the creep. And also the money was taken by the Isengard player. Who is, by the way, Jackass, okay? So he has two lumber mills outside, good eco. Uruk pit and he has Lourdes up on the field. Lourdes is around this location. He's trying to get some experience levels to get to level 5, very important level for the Uruk hero. This Gondor went for Faramir first, and I believe he's gonna go for Boromir next. And we have also Boromir upon the field. It's basically a hero fiesta party. He's going for, you know, oh my goodness, what is this? Pheasant with Theodin and Warchan, they have 100% more damage, actually 90% more damage and 100% more armor. They will destroy everything from Mordor. Mordor has luckily a troll coming out just in time but imagine if you wouldn't go for the troll cage if you was trying to go for an ass you know this piece would be a goner these towers can't protect you look the troll is even dying to the peasants that's how strong they were until actually who's hurting him this much is that a hobbit yeah there is a hobbit who's level five maria dog esquire of rohan man handling this troll level seven almost he was trying to get cloaked but that's not possible He's dodging some arrows like a Matrix. Pew, 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 pew. Can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me, can't hit me. Will he get away, actually? It looks like he will get away. Mario Dog, Brandy Vogue. They are pinging him. They are like, kill this guy, but he was getting cloaked. Now you see me. Now you don't. Lambrimi level 2. Lourdes still around. He was creeping this brother Boromir, but... The, there is a Lord and also Farami protecting the Boromir. Boom! Farami killing the stepbrother from another mother. You know what I mean? And he's gonna draw the sword. He's level 3. He has Carnage. Let it be Carnage. Take this. Take this. I am the true Lord. He is gonna be used to save him. Farami is also safe. He's gonna get mounted. And he's gonna get out. But I think the creep will be taken yeah, by the Berserkers. Farami is almost level 5. But he has warning around cooldown. And this... Mary is actually bombing his face with rocks all over the place. And he's gonna die now. Oh, the Berserk. <laughs> okay, um, they have a combo coming from this Gondor. He lost his Boromir, who is only level 3. Remember that one. But he can take this creep, get closer to level 4. There is another creep here. So pretty much defensive creeps nobody will ever take. Um, Saruman will be recruited by the Isengard player Jackass. He's going for the Armory next. He has double Lumber Mill good money in 3v3s or 4v4s you also get way faster money it's victory is at hand christopher lee ladies and gentlemen and the works they are homeless 
poor dogs look at them cuties okay this lords is gonna be a monster very close to level five but this faramia is also level five who's gonna get it uh this guy got it legoras with the knife fighter and you shall not move and now what <laughs> faramia Oh, actually, Legolas killed him. That's massive. Level 5 Legolas, by the way. It would be better when this guy got to kill him because he would be level 5, but it's okay. He's close to level 5 anyway, so he will get there eventually, right? He will get there. We have Trolls with Rocks, okay? That's the specialty of 2023's ending. They are very close to the new year, 2024, which also will be a very special, you know, year because it's going to be exactly 20 years. In 6 December 2024... Our beloved game, the Lord of the Rings, the Battle for Middle Earth, will be exactly 20 years old. 20 years old. And Mary is popping off. Level 8. Some things we don't see every day. Full farm. He's going for the hero party. And we have combos from this Gondor. Knife fighter will be used to destroy the tower, but the tower is tanky, boy. There's a Vorka, and I believe this Rohan player doesn't like the towers. Parami level 4, Boromir only level 3, but quite, you know, close to level 4. So every hero got taken down. I mean, he had only Faramir. He never went for Boromir to begin with. He's going for the horses now. And there is no horse defense for Rohan, and also no horse defense for Gondor. So they have, they have like a very open base. You know, you can enter it and destroy everything. These guys will get very strong. Triple Drummer Troll. One, two, three. A little bit overkill. Two is more than enough. You want to get to Witch King way faster. So what I like to do is I like to recruit two Trolls, two Drummer Trolls, and then save for Witch King. And also here you need a Lumber Mill. Lumber Mill is just much more valuable compared to a Slaughterhouse. Gives you way more money. And also it's in a very protected spot. You know, it can't be destroyed. But it's fine, because with the Slaughterhouse, you actually get get at least the food bonus to maximum, 30%, which makes your trolls a bit cheaper. But I guess you need the Witch King. It's more important. The, the amount of the... Like, I would rather have three trolls with Witch King and Drummer, instead of having five or six trolls with only Drummer. Because Witch King is the best leadership in the game for a hero. Okay, they have like a good protection here. They have also Saruman, Aragorn joining the battle. He's Anduri Sword actually. Eowyn, Theodin, Statue, Well, and a Well behind here. Statue would be better, but it's okay. You want to have always double Statue, just in case one of them might be destroyed. The second one is going to still kick in. We have Gimli upon the field, level 3. That's pretty good. This outpost from the Orange Gunner player is pretty much exposed. No tower guards nearby. Nothing that can protect them from the Knights of Condor with full upgrades like shields, blades, and heavy armor. They have also even the leadership from this Faramir, I believe, right? It's the same, yeah. So they have 50% armor or 40% armor. Fireball is going to be used to knock down the brothers on the ground. Faramir might get, get, get up and get away because he was not crippling since it's on cooldown. But Boro will pay to, for this with his life. In the meantime, it looks like they are committing for a potential attack. You know, look, using the momentum, it's all about speed and tempo. Now, this army is pretty strong. They have no drummer troll, yes, but they have Aragorn and Theorin Le Theorin's leadership. Rohan is the second strongest faction in 3v3s. And remember, there is no Rohan for the bot side team. Only Mordor. Aragorn is going to be sent in. We have a Rohirrim summon. No pikemen. They will get slowed down big time, but there is another cavalry coming. Beautiful trample. Missing the opportunity to steal them all. He could have saved the Warm Tongue to steal all of these Nogonda Knights, but he didn't. Now that's enemy land. Aragorn in the meantime was able to destroy the Citadel, that's pretty good. Fireball is going to be used, but the Knights of Gondor are popping off. There is a Gandalf the Grey. What, what can a Grey Wizard do against such reckless heat? The land is from the Isengard team topside. That's why the Trolls have no leadership. Beautiful blast incoming from the White Wizard. And another one from the Grey Wizard, barely hurting those Walk Riders from the Isengard player. And there comes the Big Steel, but there is... Uh, this damage is crazy. Nobody throws the door. Aragorn is gonna die, but Speedy Gonzalez. Nobody's taking care of him. Kill him, kill him. Everybody's pinging, 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 ping, but he's out. He's out. The MVP. 
inside i'm just gonna die dude so many targets i can't even blame isinger on that one because usually you want to focus on things that you can kill fast and gimli is definitely not one of these things you can kill fast you can cripple him you should be crippling him so he can't move but i think he was wasting cripple on something else and never ever right click on the cripple never do this then he will cripple a hobbit or something you know what i mean can of extra he will not what, what happened to the extra oh not the best jump in the universe i'm telling you that much Ganov is getting chunked there is no well he demolished the well and go for the archer range it's a mistake you want to place archer range spear spear you want to place archer range behind uh, in, in your castle warm tonk something is dying gimli killed him what is this guy doing over here randomly easter lighting one of the three drummer throws there's no need to do this farami is exposed what is happening over here man i want to see how many power points this guy has by the way gimli is still crushing everything but now they have crazy leadership with drama troll and level eight combo hitting like an absolute truck but not able to catch the dwarf on steroids okay so we have power points let's take a look into this gondor i believe this is the gondor here yeah he has can have to fight finally in heal his army is now rotating but boromir on the level three still missing a tiny bit of experience to get the leadership unlocked very important leadership 60 percent damage not to be underestimated uh seal that's the mordor at the bottom side he has industry i have sauron and tainted land and almost one power point out on top of that balinduru this is the rohan player he has elvin wood anduril draft and heal and almost three power points then we have lurz i believe that's this isinger play over there yeah, he has five power points after the Tinted Land. Very close to... What is Gimli doing, Tank? Very close to uh, Freezing Green. Then we have three power points. <laughs> oh my god. For Bang, that's the Gondor at the bottom. After the Rohirrim summon. Then we have Jack as at six power points after the Freezing Green, which just has been used. There is a Wizard. Let's take a look into the Wizard. He's gonna use the Fireball, knocking them all away. Eowyn, the shield maiden, is chilling in between the army. Maybe use the disguise ability that comes to steal. He will be able to steal one of them. Heal him. I don't know if anybody would have healed there, but it would be a very important heal. Now the Rohan heroes are jumping in, but Boromir is able to knock them down on the ground. There comes the roar ability. Now you want to focus on the drama troll because there is only one more. Eoma can't move against Boromir. Boromir is sending him on the ground all the time. The second you want to move, you look at this. He can't move away from him. Boromir not dealing the greatest amount of damage, but being able to disable the unit over and over again. Legolas in the meantime, level 5, gonna be haunted by these Vogue Riders, but there is too much defense in there. And it looks like they will be barely able to defend. Did actually Lourdes, Lord Lourdes get Freezing Green? Yeah, that's the reason why. Because the enemy did have no leadership, since the Freezing Green is able to negate Drama Troll Eye and everything else. The, war, the cripple will be used on, from this Lourdes on the Saruman. Saruman is gonna be able to use the blast but remember lords gets immunity to knockbacks once he's using on when once he's on carnage and he's gonna get away because there is only two crossbow men that's able to shoot legolas level seven ladies and gentlemen aragon is back in the business and they are just safe safe for now the army here from gondor has to rotate has to do some damage to this rohan now it's pointless to go to the gondic base because there is a tower guard and there is only one entrance right but rohan you have like multiple different pathways you can use to enter the camp and you can pretty much do crazy stuff lord is getting chung 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 legolas hitting like a truck we have lots of rocks on there but legolas is paying attention if you don't pay attention to these rocks they will one shot your hero might maybe be legolas or gandalf maybe aragon can resist but you can't when there is a drummer in Witch King. That's not possible. Now they are gathering all the army at the bottom left side. And now we finally, after a long time, the leader of the nine, Witch King, has been recruited. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this game just became interesting, all right? So because now Jackass has 11 power points, he's nine away from the Varrock. And Gondor is out. Gondor is the worst faction by far in 3v3s. The only way you can get actually power points is by rushing the enemy base avoiding the contact with enemy armies or you want to go for the for the trebuchet that's the only way because gondor is low-key the worst 3v3 faction mordor first rohan second aizen and then there is nothing for a long time and then gondor you know all right okay almost above 40 ranking that's pretty good we have a couple of elvin warriors yeoman archers even 
Isengard assembling a Urukai army Vorfi of the White. Oh, what is this guy doing there? Hey, don't do this. Yan of the Grey has been killed. This Grey Wizard. Why this guy has Grey? Let me take a look into this. Yeah, he has, he has Grey. Who is this? Bank? Ah, he doesn't have the power points. He went for the Eagles. That's why. Okay. I mean, he has still lots of power points, but he just didn't have enough to turn his Gan of the Grey into the Gan of the White. And without the spell Gan of the White, Gan of the Grey, I'm being honest with you guys, it's a complete waste of resources, okay? Not worth the $6,000. For no reason. Okay, this army looks pretty scary though. Remember, Drummer plus Witch King is 100% damage. Warchan, 150% damage. Lourdes, 210% damage. <laughs> this is gonna be... What is the Saruman doing over here? He's gonna be... Oh, maybe it was a beat to cripple this Saruman, who is now exposed. The land... Oh, he's gonna get one shot. The Glorious Charge available. Blaine Trample Insta Cover. And Mumba kill even up on the field. Mumba kill can eventually go, go, trample them all. Mumba kill. Mumba is going, 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 going. He's gonna miss all the heroes. But there are so many targets. Boromir finally level 5. Gimli is once again speedy Gonzalez in all over the place. Mumba kill is burning. And that's, ladies and gentlemen, why you gotta love 3v3s three when you like those fiesta moments. What a horrible fight for all the players involved. Zero coordination whatsoever. Boromir got crippled. There are so many targets, but Boromir has to be it, you know, because, you know, because these guys enjoy the Lord of the Rings films just like as much as I am, and as potential you are. That's a brave move here to move up to Warm Tongue Dam. We have lots of spear throws coming to Boromir. Horn has been used, but there is nothing to stun. And he's gonna use the For Gondor ability too. For Gondor to make them even stronger. Look the damage against Gandalf. You can't show up anymore against this army, man. That's not possible. But here they have recovery with the well. They have leadership. But Rin is active. Keep that in mind. They are shining bright like a diamond. This guy is using beautiful leap, but he was using the arrow while everything is dying in a second. I want to like Balrog unlock. Just like that. Just like that. All it takes is to kill like 25 heroes on repeat to unlock it. You know what I'm saying? But in the meantime, this Gimli is on the hero hunt. He's gonna finally get crippled by this. And he's tanky, but not tanky enough, dude. Mumma kill is coming. Rain has been used. That's why they have no leadership. Gimli is still alive, by the way, boys. But Mumma kill can eventually end his life. There comes the Balrog. <laughs> Drama Troll is using his belly to knock down Gimli. Gimli is safe. Nobody can kill him. No need to waste time on whipping him. This guy is going to ignore the outpost and going straight up for the beast. But he's losing so much time. Remember, you have only a minute time with the Balrog. And every second you waste, you can only use wings <clears throat> every 10 seconds. I'm losing my voice over here. It's gonna just straight up use breath fire, burn the king. But he was not using ignite before, which, by the way, boosts your damage by 200%. That also affects the damage of the breath fire. And that will, you know, result in a one shot against Sita and all the level 3 farms. Um, he's going for the archer range, smart move, but never using the ignite. That's a big mistake. The outpost will be actually fully destroyed. And yeah, Pilos, this is the orange gonna play. He has five power points. He needs still two full power points for his cloud break. CEO, the model player, has three power points. Still needs four for his darkness. They are more sportive in this situation. This Gondor is giving Farami, Boromir, Gandalf to his armies, to allies' armies. And Mordor obviously giving Witch King Drummer to the allies from himself. Then we have Balindru sitting on seven power points after the end summon. There comes the big war chant, full commitment on the bees. Eagles will be special summoned. Gimli jumping on them with the leap attack, but doesn't use Slayer. The same situation here. If you use Slayer and then you jump, it actually will increase your damage by 100% too. He's very strong against horses. Very, very strong against horses. And uh, can one shot them as you can see, you know. And they are going for the structures. They are able to deal heavy damage. But Rohan, if he doesn't fall, he has enough resources to get back into the game such as reviving his heroes Mumma kill is charging i think he one shot the hero there yeah boromir got one shot it and now he's angry boys Mumma kill is angry he's looking for a for opportunity oh making the 360 85 the 50 50 okay he's gonna get away but the rohan player is now the aod available okay so he's the closest one to the aod he's gonna summon it now to deal with this army now maybe it was necessary 
overkill, you know, crippling the dude who was already getting killed. Drummers are dying, trolls are dying, Gimli is alive. That's all it that matters, ladies and gentlemen. Almost level 9 Dwarven King. I mean, not a really king, but he's the king of our hearts, okay? Witch King, level 10, obviously. You know, I'm not getting too excited about that one, because they are always level 10, those heroes. Witch King is going to be able to stop them from rushing the bees. No problemo. Uh, he needs to revive his Boromir, very important hero. Mumakil Pan level 3, that means every Mumakil you now recruit will be there in 28 seconds. But also they will be level 2 right off the bat. So Mumakil units are produced at level 2, when the Mumakil rank is level 3. So that's pretty good, you know, because they have then the recovery, they can heal up themselves when they are out of combat, that's pretty decent. 10 power points for Aizen after the Balrog summon. This guy has... Oh, okay. Oh, my kid is angry. Oh, boy. This Mortis is actually also getting power points like crazy. Yeah, he does. Indeed. He has now enough power points for the darkness, which means even greater amount of leadership for the, for the allies. It also includes this Knights of Gondor with the Gandalf leadership plus the Warchant. They're Warchanted. Use darkness and they will be immortals. I'm telling you that much. But now it's too late, they took heavy damage, you don't want to trample into the pikemen, which king is coming, which can also rejoin this army of the horses to give them even greater amount of leadership. You want to just time the darkness so it doesn't get in touch with the enemy freezing rain to get the most value. You want to at least wait, like rain's duration is 2 minutes and 20 seconds, but then it has 6 minutes cooldown and that means you have more than 3 minutes and a half in between the end of the duration and the next available rain from your opponent then in this period you want to use darkness to get the most value out of it you know by the way this Eisen is almost a Balrog too he needs 70 he has almost 17 power points so now two Mumas Drummer Witch King allies combos are rotating in the meantime there is a bank retreating to his own side I think he want to just defend what's coming but there is a troll protecting this area, but one troll can't do much. That's gonna be a big fight between Knights of Gondors. But we wanna take a look into this fight over here. Because all the heroes, all the potential fiesta is gonna happen at this location. Okay, Mumas. Like here, it's all about priority, you know? It's about what do I need to kill first, okay? And oh oh, 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 he's angry now. Now you're gonna rotate. Now you're gonna rotate, boy. Now you're gonna rotate. There is one more guy coming, 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 coming. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, the heroes barely get away. Woman kill. This guy is not gonna get angry. The, the, guys, I'm telling you one tip, okay? If you don't want the enemy Muma kill to reach, you wanna split the damage between fire arrows and non fire arrows. Like, the movement kill only reaching if it take, takes too much fire damage, okay? So when you finish him off like with like extra from Gimli, Elmas, Spear Throw, Legolas, Hulk Strike, then they won't reach. So when he comes to a certain threshold, around about 35% HP mark, you want to use abilities from heroes. This way they won't reach and die instantly, you know? Get a fight here. Oh boy, I see a... Uh, I see a stamped on Gandalf from this dude. Is Gandalf got one shot it? <laughs> Alright, Jack against Balrog almost available. He lost the orange condo. He's now finally Cloud Break. Seal holding on his um, darkness. And summon for Balindru, the Rohan player. And Lord Lords sitting on Freezing Rain. Darkness has been used, but remember, Freezing Rain can counter this. He's gonna use it immediately. Mumma kill, only fire damage exclusively. Obviously, he's gonna rage. And then he's gonna become uncontrollable. You can't control him. And he's gonna, for example, in this case, he's killing all the allies summoned through Hirim. All of them. Witch King, not paying attention, will get away, just barely. Um, exposed. There, there comes the. Oh, he's angry again. I don't know what, what do I need to show you guys. I don't know what do I need to show you guys. 19. Now the other Isengard has also the Balrog. And JKS can summon his Baldrog one more time very, very soon. Eagles taking care of the Legolas. Legolas exposed. Eagles dealing hella damage to heroes. It also will bring Gondor lots of power points, who also almost has AUD, okay? Aragorn is being crippled. There comes the Wormtongue to steal lots of the units. And he's gonna get Easter Egg, the 
Saruman by Gandalf. And that is the Balrog. Here it's gonna be used. Balrog is gonna one-shot all the horses too almost from his ally. This player doesn't care about his ally's horses. Let me tell you that much, okay? And the eagle keeps going, but he has not much time remaining on the field. There is even a hobbit running for his life. There is Brave Fire finally with the Ignite. That's why he's able to one-shot the Citadel like this. But AOD available now by the Gondor player and also by the Rohan player. It's it has to be available very, very soon. Yeah. So now Army is coming. And there is a Balrog from the Aizen, and he's gonna blast, and whip, 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 get over here. It doesn't get one-shotted because he's not ignited, and he's using the bubble. The bubble gives him tankiness, and there are two Balrogs, I don't know why. This Balrog is, doesn't know what to do. Breath fire to kill his own allies, Balrog. This uh, Balrog was from this player, and the Gandalf who just burned alive was from this player. <laughs> And AOD will be summoned too. Oh my god, from the Gondor. I believe this one is from the Gondor, right? Yeah, this one is from the Gondor. He's trying to finish the base, but he's gonna miss everything. The only structure in the base, and he's missing it with the breath fire. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about, about this one. But there is only one more structure remaining, but it's gonna fall, and that's gonna be the end of Rohan. But the game continues. It's still a 2v3 situation. However, Balrog is on cooldown from this Isenia player over there. And the other Gondor player who is... Did he leave? Yeah, he left also. The, the, okay, never mind. GG, well played. What a fiesta game. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.